Welcome to Figure Feedback, my name is Jeremy and this is a pretty special video because in this video, I'm gonna show you some different figures that were printed using different types of 3D printing technology. So in addition to resin, I'm gonna show you some figures that were printed using the SLM method, which stands for selective laser melting that produced some metal 3D figures. And I'm also going to show you something that was printed using what's called M. JF, which is multi-jet fusion printing. And these things I'm going to show you were all printed by a company called JLC PCB. And they are a 3D printing and CNC machining company. And they'll allow you to upload your own files, your own unsupported STL files to their website. And then you'll be able to select from a variety of different 3D printing methods as well as materials for those objects. And the whole process is really easy. It's literally drag and drop, and then you select the type of 3D printing method and the type of material that you want to use, and they even provide a little summary for each of the materials and what it's best for. So they provided me with a small budget, and I used it to select my own STL files that I wanted them to print out for me. All right, so let me show you what I got printed out. So here's an example of the packaging that they used. Something that I had printed is inside of here and they wrapped it in multiple layers of bubble wrap and they taped it. And it also came in a cardboard box with plenty of styrofoam and even smaller pieces of styrofoam to keep everything nice and secure. So that's really good. So here I have an example of three miniatures and all three of these miniatures are made out of metal and they were printed using the SLM or selective laser melting 3D printing process. And the whole thing is really cool when I was researching it. So basically the way that it works is that you have this print bed and it's filled with metallic powder and then a high powered laser comes around and it selectively melts each layer according to the model that you have into that powder. And then more powder gets pushed on top, the laser melts the next layer, then more powder comes on top, the laser melts down the next layer, and then the whole process just keeps happening until you have a fully built object. Now, the other thing about this particular type of 3D printing is that it tends to be more expensive than having something printed out of filament or something printed out of resin. So because of that, I think that is worth looking into what you're trying to print versus how much it will cost you to have that printed in this SLM method so that you can have something that is super solid and made out of metal. But I do think that it is more cost effective and maybe even more worth it if you are trying to have something smaller printed like these miniatures here. Trying to have something printed that is quite large, for example, like a one six scale statue from Wicked, not only is something like that maybe too big for what those machines are capable of doing, but they will also be very, very expensive. I'm talking about thousands of dollars if you're trying to get something that big printed in a method like that. So I would just reserve something like this for some of your smaller 3D prints if you're interested and you'll know that you'll always have something that is nice and heavy and durable and robust and you're probably one of the only people walking around with an entire space marine platoon that's actually made out of metal. I also wanted them to print something out of resin so I can get a sense of how the quality was going to be like with that. And I chose this white resin because it was among the most affordable. And the model that I chose is this faceless queen from Witch Song Miniatures. And she looks very nice. Now, the thing is, this is white resin. So at a glance, it's a little bit harder to pick out the fine details because it's white. And it would be the same thing if it were a figure printed out of black resin. Something that's more contrasty like a gray naturally helps the details pop more without you needing to do anything to it. But something that is white or black requires a little bit more work in order to help it reach its full potential. And what I mean by that is you can just prime it a different color, prime it gray, and then those details return. But anyway, um, like I said in the beginning, they handle all of the support 
shirts. So I didn't support anything for this. They did everything themselves and all the little pieces are there. The horns on these weapons, the scythe looks good. And this is a figure that has a lot of sharp corners and a lot of sharp edges. So the fact that they were able to still remove those supports and still have the structure of the figure still intact, um, that is really good. That is really good. And this is a completely solid figure. I think it looks good. So if you don't have your own 3D printer, it might be worth looking into how much it will cost to take the files that you want, especially if they're miniatures, and see how much it will cost for them to print this and then ship it to you. And then you can use those minis for whatever it is that you want. So it might be good for saving you a little bit of money, but you can know that the end result is gonna look pretty good. So I had them print this out and then I have another resin printed model that we're gonna take a look at now. So check out this big boy golem right here. Now this is a big, heavy, figure and I actually looked into printing this on my own resin 3D printer completely solid and I was going to take over 250 milliliters of resin to just print him just like this. Uh, so yeah, he is heavy, he is solid and man, He's quite large, but once again, the detail is there. I mean, kind of just look at that beard, all those tentacle thingies, you know, they're still nicely intact. He's even got a little bird on his finger and the wings of the bird is still there. The tiny beak on the bird is still there. So again, completely unsupported when I was uploaded and they handled the sanding, they handled the supports, the, the packing, the shipping, and, and it just came really perfect i can't i can't see any flaws on this guy and again hit him with some primer help those details pop looks darn good so i'm happy with the way that these resin print these resin figures came out as well as the metal ones but now i have one more thing to show you that was made from a different type of 3d printing and is called mjf not the wrestler so this is a more functional print. This is a belt buckle. A belt buckle designed by Loot Studios as part of one of their sci-fi bundles from a few months back. And this was printed using the MJF or multi-jet fusion method. And this is made out of nylon. So the way that that 3D printing process works is very similar to the SLM method, but the difference is it doesn't use the high-powered laser. So from what I understand, it has a print bed that's filled with this fine nylon material. And then these multi-headed jets come through and then they drop down some, fusi some fusion agents as well as some detailing agents inside of it. And then a heating element comes around and then it heats where those agents dropped and then another layer goes on top and then those uh, the heating element does this thing again and then more agent goes down into the bed and then and then it comes back around and it heats it up and then more powder goes on top and then that whole process just keeps going until you have a final print and look at the detail of this guy that is a very nice looking belt buckle. And because this is printed out of that nylon material, it's also very durable. This is something that folks can use when they want functional parts, things are, that are actually gonna be moving around and stuff. But this is a belt buckle, so I figure that, hey, as far as durability goes, yeah, this should definitely stand up, you know, as far as the belt moving in and out and everything. But man, very nice detail on there. Let me just show you this again nice and close using the multi-jet fusion method very nice indeed so now let's talk about overall quality out of all of these which ones look the best so i think for something like this it kind of depends on what you're trying to use it for if you're trying to use it for figures because this is figure feedback whether it's your miniatures 32 millimeter 75 millimeter whatever it is that you want to spend money on i still think that the best looking material has got to be the resin. There's just something about how great resin works, even though it's so toxic. 
Um, it produces smoother results, more detailed results that are very defined and the edges of those details tend to be very separate from each other and doesn't really muddle together and become unrecognizable, if that makes any sense. So the resin method, I think, still looks the best. When it comes to the metal miniatures, they still look good, but they don't look as good as the resin. So for example, even when I look down on the, the jump pack on the Space Marine and to some of the corners, I can still see the detail, but the detail just isn't as smooth, you know? So I think that the metal printing will be really awesome for functional parts, things that you don't necessarily need to look great in order for you to get a lot of good use out of it. But if you're trying to use it for figures, I think that it's cool to have a few of them around, but if you want the best detail possible because you want to paint them and you want them to stand out from the crowd and look the best out of everyone in the room, I think resin is still gonna be the best method in order to achieve those kind of results. But at the same time, I wouldn't want to use resin for everything, even if the details come out to look a little bit better and a little bit smoother because of the whole toxicity thing. Even if it's cured, I don't feel comfortable having resin pressed up against my skin for an extended period of time. So if I were going to have something 3D printed and it was going to be touching my skin, if it was some cosplay stuff, jewelry, you know, things like that, I'd be a lot more comfortable using something like this, using the MJF method with this nylon material because it's more skin safe than the resin would be. And the detail is still there. It still looks very, very nice indeed. So I would not hesitate to have things printed in this method, especially if it was something I was gonna have on my body. So hope you guys enjoyed this look at a few different objects that were created using three different types of 3D printing methods. And if you're interested in getting some things printed out for yourself, check the link in the description. It's gonna take you over to JLC PCB's website where you can upload your own creations or creations that you find on the internet and you can price the different methods of 3D printing that they have available and see which one is right for you. Thank you all so much for watching and until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll talk to you soon.